put our fishing pole on and load that up into the truck. Hope we have the space for it. Switch things out. Yeah. Put this here. Oh no, where'd it go? Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Raging Diesel and welcome to another hardcore episode of The Infected. Now in our last episode, it was during our live stream and we did a few things around the base to get ready to go on our adventure. One of the things we did is we went and finished out the front of the walkway and it really looks, ended up looking really nice now. And we also found out that version 12 had taken place. And so while we did the did try to do most of the kitchen area, we ended up finding out that we can no longer make electrical parts. If you look down here in our things here, now it's only obtained by looting POIs. So electrical and mechanical parts we can no longer have. Looks like we're getting some rain first thing this morning. Now I did do some chores in between then, the end of the, epi the, the live stream and now. It wasn't a lot, but I went and gathered some more oil shale. Uh, also got some clay, emptied the clay soil and filled up our clay, started working on cement. And I filled up, you know, a lot of our clay and sand to make sure we were good to go for that so we could keep making cement today. And what I planned on doing is I changed my mind. Instead of doing three refrigerators, we're only going to do two. And that way we only need to find 10 electrical parts each for this. So we'll be trying, we'll get, uh, one thing I also did is I went and made the, up the iron ingots. And I'm thinking about this oil shale here and I'm trying to keep from getting, uh, any more sandstone out of those. So I'm thinking about going back out there this morning and using, using these to fill up the extractor with that and they'll stack as they produce. So that way we won't get any more sandstone. But I made up some iron here. Oh, I moved that too far away. <laughs> Let's move this all in here. And I need to grab as much as we can for this. And see how much weight we can handle. Okay, go we'll grab it all. I don't think we'll need it all, but we're going to put these iron in here. So the only thing we'll need is the electrical parts. And looks like uh, we're going to need about most of these. Not all of them. So those are all set to go as soon as we get the electrical parts in them. So we'll put these away. And what I'm thinking on doing is we're going to check on these. They're ready to go for another course. So what I'm wanting to do is try to get at least two boxes of cement to take to the trader. And as much oil as possible to take to them. So... We're going to try to keep that going as best as we can. So let's get some more sand. Let's check this one. Okay. Let's run another course of cement. And 
And I think in our next episode, hopefully, we'll hit Horde Knight in this episode. And we can leave on our trip the first thing next episode. So we've got two complete boxes, looks like, almost. But right now, what I want to do is we might get in it get an attack. I'm we're due for one. Is that a bear? Or no, I think that's a, a pig. Um I'm gonna take some extra oil shale out of here. I'll leave two here. Those are doing just good just now. What I want to do is something a, that I did last season that I've completely forgot about. But if you put one oil shale in every slot in each of the extractor's box, they'll stack the oil shale there and no longer produce the sandstone that we no longer need. Because we've got so much sandstone now that, you know, we're going to still use a few more pieces, but we're really not going to need that much more. But we do need the oil shells, so instead of the sandstone, do that, right? We'll take one of these. And... Put this in here. Oh, not that. A stack. And just keep hitting split one. There. And now that we've got this thing filled, it'll only stack the oil shale in there. And they'll just stack up and then we can just take off, split one off and put it back and we'll have nothing but that. So we'll do this. There, those two are filled. So now they'll only produce oil shale for us. And we'll take this over to the other one. I'm going to make sure that gate's shut. And we'll run over here. Keeping an eye on bears because I'm sure that they'll be out here. It looks like uh, Mike's gathering our logs for us. So when we can... When we get started on the slaughterhouse, when we get back from our adventure, we'll have all the logs necessary to make it. And we'll probably do that um, during the live stream on Wednesday. Just to let you know, we do now do uh, the Hardcore Season 4. It's going to be live every Wednesday from now until the end of the season. And then, then we go, well, we'll do probably do a Season 5 just live on Wednesdays. All right, we take these. There, we got it all done. Now this should do only produce oil shale for us. Ah, it feels more comfortable about that. Now I don't have to worry about any more sandstone. As you can as you'll see when we get back. Um Yeah, he's really producing for us for the things and this is going to be i think here will be the beginning i don't know how big it's going to be probably not that big maybe a couple 
couple foundations wide and then down into this lower area here. And we'll, we'll make a few tables out of it and keep loading them up. Hopefully we'll get more sheep. We need to keep an eye on sheep just to make sure we have enough. Um, I'm going to put the rest of this oil shale back. And it looks like we're almost 300 now of, uh, of oil. And we'll just keep that topped off. And we got a good surplus of oil shale here. So hopefully by the time and with biofuel, we're doing well with that. We could probably take a hundred of that biofuel, probably even more. We'll probably take it all because from what I've been gathering with biofuel, I mean, the, the spoiled food, that's enough to keep these uh, clay soil extractors running. That one's still full, so... I have no place to put it, so I might as well just run two. Now I got this extra... Extra shale. And as you can see down here, these are all full. Well, except for this one. But I got four of them that are full. And if I could stick them in here, maybe... Just to get them out of the way... We might need a little bit of it, but I don't think we're going to need a whole bunch of it. So we could set that there. Let those go here. Um, we can put a doorway here. And we'll need planks. Go ahead and grab the eight planks, get it out of there. Right. And now I'm not sure whether or not we're going to use all these lights. Uh, I think what we're going to end up doing, because of the, the amount of electrical parts we're worried about, I think I'm going to end up deleting these and leave the one in the middle. Um, I did notice when I was doing my chores that these lights don't show from a distance that far. I mean, about less less than 50 yards or so, that's all you can see them from. But they light up the perimeter pretty well. Um, oh. I guess that... There we go. And we'll upgrade that probably to a metal door. See, those are all full. And when it comes to sandstone here, these three are nearly... They're nearly all full. So, we got a few more of those to make. And as you can see, with all these lights and stuff like that, we're looking at probably close to 100 electrical parts. What is this doing here? I might need that for something else, but um, right now it doesn't need to be there. We'll get back to that. But I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is move these outside. It's probably the best place for them right here. Now I'll leave the coat rack just inside. But whether or not it goes here or goes maybe up up here, I'm not sure whether or not we make a closet or anything. But if you look at uh, 
If you look at the temperature, it's it's starting to fall a little bit. It's still kind of warm. So we're doing okay with that. What else was I planning on doing? Uh, we got the... We did the oil. We did that. Um, oh, I did want to go ahead and get started on making some of this. So first off, we're going to need pots and pans. And if we look here, I think it's under these. Not under food, but under this. No? Here? Here. Pots and pans. So we're going to need iron. So we might as well go ahead and use our fragments. We'll have more. And we're going to go ahead and put these on and make some pots and pans. That way uh, we can cook meat. And start making more of food that we can, pro the processed food that we can get better skills out of and sell to the trader. We'll sell some of it to the trader. It's like uh, one of these is low. Just top it off. We can always get more coal. We have plenty of extra iron ore if we need it. And we'll need some of it to make steel. Because we'll need... Uh, there's going to be some of these steel windows into the, in the slaughterhouse so we can see out. The views here are so good you don't want to block them out too much. And we also want to get start getting the truck loaded up. Now, one thing I did do is I emptied out the majority of the, the barn animals food, the milk and the eggs. And I'll start throwing this up into the truck. Now, some of it might spoil between now and the time we depart in the next episode. Hold on. What did I do? Oh, it's all here. Okay. And I'll just start loading this stuff up. Oh, no, I want to move all. And I'll, some of the things I'll go ahead and start moving in there, get the truck loaded up. And there's another thing I wanted to get moved. So one thing I wanted to do Oh, that's nearly out. Oof. Looks like oh, I'm going to need some biofuel for that. That should be enough. I figure with all the oil, cement, and food that we make, we should have enough maybe to buy her out of everything that she has. Go ahead and sharpen our stuff up while we're here. That's okay. It doesn't have any. It does here. We're probably not going to need the axe for right now. So we're going to take the axe out. So we'll probably be making another spoof. And we're going to take this back. The axe will keep, uh, the upgrade tool will keep on here, but we want to make another spear. And I wanted to uh, put the fishing pole on. 
because we're going to be going when we go on our adventure we're going to be actually uh i'll put weapons over here and these bone spears even though the durability is high on them they're they don't do the damage that the steel spears do and to make a steel spear need a steel spear tip and to make that one steel ingot three sticks and five plant fiber which are quite simple And like I said, you could just drag over, figure out how many she want, confirm. There, we got our three, six, five plant fiber. Let's go get our spear, spear tip. And I think we have an extra steel ingot here. Craft. And that has to be done on the advanced workbench, which is upstairs again. And now we have another spear tip and we wanted to get the, oh, while we were up there, we should have got the bait. We'll probably get more. There's, that should be enough. We might make more. Can be crafted on the workbench. Um, how do you make these? Is it this size? Yeah. Five iron stick and feathers. Okay, well, let's grab at least 10 more. There. And of course we need feathers. We'll take all that and craft it on the workbench. So it's five fragments, right? One stick, one feather. Let's craft all. Oh, we've got tons of bait. Throw our feathers away. Now we've got our spear. Put our fishing pole on and we'll load that up into the truck. I hope we have the space for it to switch things out. Yeah, so we can put this here. Oh no, where'd it go? This is crazy. I don't see it anywhere. I'm going to look up here on the roof. I 
That's annoying. I bet you, you know what I think it is? It's probably underneath. It's probably underneath here. It dropped or something. All right. How do you make it? That's annoying. Um, no, it's back under here. Three sticks, two plastic, and five iron fragments. That's annoying as heck. Just have enough. All right, these are all done. Get right back to them once we finish doing some of this loading. On the workbench. Oh, forgot the fragments. That's what I went over here for. All right, we have it again. There are fishing poles there. We have an extra bone spear here. About. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Didn't do me any damage, but I'm going to have to get another cart. Um, here's one. We'll just grab this one to transport him. We'll throw him up on the butcher table. We've got a couple extra carts that we could use, so in case we get any more sheep or that, because we could definitely use uh, the extra wool if we if we see one. So keep your eyes open before the end of a winter if we can find one. Now I wanted to put. little snack that'll see us to the rest of the end of the day. 
Uh, I want to put this bait in here. Tons of bait. We really don't need that. Now we got. Now we were. Uh, I wanted to check on the animals real quick. I don't. I think they're fine for right now. Yeah, they're. But got more milk. I want to keep them empty so they're producing. Grab a little snack. We're full up and we can give them a few. We'll feed them again probably before we leave. It's not like we're leaving today. I, uh, it might not be even tomorrow. Um, I'm looking to leaving right after. The morning after horde night, so we have plenty of time to go down there um, and get back in time for before the next one. And but we'll be doing a lot more excursions now that we have to go out and get our own uh, electrical parts. I'm gonna keep filling that up, and some might spoil, and that's quite all right. But at least we have a chance for for more than just one full box. Speaking of one full box, it's time to re-hit this. There's two full boxes. And what I'll do is I'll start throwing cement up in there as well. And I'm also going to take with us um, some planks. I think that's enough. Yeah, eight planks. I want to take one box with me so I can unload instead of having to take a lot of trips to the trader. So I'll throw that in here. So I'll have enough to make a box, a storage box at the trader. Now, uh, there it is. Now that we got all these, Go over here to the butcher table and I'm gonna make a few of these. And 
they go up here. Actually, and we'll put a, a spare one up here in case we decide we want to go double. put our spare ones up here and now we'll do the same for pans perfect I made just enough now we'll put the some pans on here Our spare ones here. Also, if we need to cook meat, we do still have the fires outside. But we're going to first start off. We'll do a few of each thing. So we're going to go to the book, look at our food, start processing. Let's, uh, we're going to try to make one of each of these and I might make more in between episodes. So, uh, we're going to start off with the potato pie mix. So looks like we need eggs, pumpkin slices, milk, and veggie mix. Oh, come on, milk. When's the next one due? Uh, about a minute and a half. Okay. Might have to go and grab some of that from, from the truck. Um, let's try that again. Veggie mixes. So we're going to make a whole bunch of veggie mix, which is... One cucumber, corn, potato, and onion. Let's go grab what we can. And we'll make a whole bunch of it right here. The veggie mix. I think I got four each. We can make four veggie mix. We're going to have to make more. But in between episodes, we can do that. Craft all that. Oh, I need one more onion. I wanted to make four of them. Grab a couple pieces of coal. And here. Uh, 
Why? Do I need milk? Oh, I needed that milk. That's right. Do I have the space to pick it up? It should be ready now. It is. Oh, food prep. Craft that, and now we have the potato pie mix. Oh. Now we can got that before we cook it all. We'll make another thing. The bacon pie mix, so we need Raw bacon, egg, milk, and veggie mix. So we still need the veggie mix. But we need egg and milk and raw bacon. So we'll run out of here, grab an egg and milk. Believe it or not, this I don't know whether or not they do any they cost any more, but we're gonna go ahead and do that. We'll put some of these in here so we can work with. And what I'll end up doing is I'll make a bunch in bulk in between episodes and I'll try to make as many as I can. All right, but I need bacon. So do I have another pig here? And I do. Oof. <laughs> I knew that was going to end up happening. I needed to to butcher animals and I don't have the the axe on me. How we for time? We got some time, so we're going to make Try to make every piece of the food, if we can. Nope, wrong one. Wrong button. Right, I have enough. So let's just dump this here. Do I have enough to wash my hands here? I do. Take some of this meat. I think I'll need the livers. Um, I'm going to need some of this raw meat. I don't need it drying, so. I'm going to take four for right now. Let's see if we have horde night tonight. I don't think it's tonight. I think it's tomorrow night. Now, to make up... Bacon pie.
Egg, milk, veggie mix. Egg, milk, veggie mix. And you can also go just to this, and if, if, you, if you've got all the ingredients, just click on it, craft it. Bacon pies here. What's next on the list? Stew mix. Raw meat, raw liver, veggie mix, and milk. So I'm going to need another milk, another veggie mix. Meat. Meat, liver, and milk. Craft that before... I go to that, see if I need another, um, because I know stew mix. Now, is that a cooked stew mix? No, just a stew mix, a melon, mushroom, and eggs. So we got our meat stew. I constantly make that mistake. There, we made our meat stew. Potato pie is... That's the potato pie mix here. Bacon pie, onion soup. So we need clay bowls. So we need to make some clay bowls. Speaking of clay, I know this is kind of monotonous, but it's really important we get this done. Go ahead and dump them in there and grab some more eggs and milk. We're probably going to need it all. See, some is already starting to spoil. I think we'll just take it all. At least have it available. I think I'm full. I've got, yeah, I've got so much here. If I need that extra milk, I'll go back for it. See, a lot of this would go in the fridge if we had them up already. That's what I was planning on, but we're just going to have to just deal with what we can. All right. Now, where were we? Oh, onion soup. I don't know what it takes to make clay bowls. And we'll craft four of those. And I know you need water, so...
that on. And I think we need onions. So, and I don't think we have any more here. So let's run down, grab some onions. None in there. Oh, I'm just, what? I thought I put that away. Oh my gosh. I must have did the wrong thing. I'm trying to put this stuff away. You can see the spoiled food just adds up. It just happens. I'm out of onions. Um, I got two. Let's see if I can get two more in the garden. Are they ready? No. We're out of onions. Let's make a couple of them. Anyway, so up here, we can put two extra bowls. Like that up. And we've got soup cooking. So what's next on the list? How for time? Oh, it's getting toward the end. And I guess we got our canned food. So we need... We're going to need some fruit. These are empty. Okay. That's okay. Just a couple of those. To need our cans. Is there up here? Yeah. Now that they're out of storage, we can move these down here. But we'll hold on to them right now. Um, Now, to make fruit salad, we need to drop these. Harvest one. Craft all. That's a couple of them. Harvest this one. can. There. Now we've got uh, we'll stick in here. Now we need more veggie salad to make that. We've got one left and we're out of onions so we'll just make one. And I'll make more once we get more onions. That onion soup's ready. So here you do the veggie salad. So you do the veggie mix and a, and a tin can. And we have our veggie salad. They last a pretty long time, about 21 hours. So. Now to these, you just take your clay bowl 
scoop up and they drop right into your food bag and they last only about four hours so we probably won't have these and they're only 12 cents a piece but they're good for your thirst so we'll just go ahead and take care of them and look how fast my thirst jumped up and i needed them to catch up anyway so we'll be eating a lot of onion soup from now on And I'm going to put that coal in here. And we got a few more things to make. First off, we need to make the to make this, you need the stew mix, melon, Mushroom and eggs. So we're going to make another stew mix. Uh, milk. I think. Is that right? Stew mix. It's been so long since I've last. I used to do this all the time. It's, yeah, potato. No potatoes. Let's go grab a few. What I'm going to eventually be doing Another onion There's some potatoes and onions Looks Mike cooked us up And drop another onion in here. I think I got everything for the meat stew. You just hit an alt and right clicking. Hmm. What did I miss? You're confused. Let's just go ahead and do this. Oh, we need the meat stew. Oh, just the meat stew. Potato. Meat, liver, veggie mix. Oh, I need a veggie mix. Hmm. Potato. All right. We're going to craft one. Now, craft here, milk and veggie mix. There's a meat stew. Now I need mushrooms. Those are ready. That's up. Make sure we have enough water. What you can do is just keep making uh, the onion soup if you wanted. Here, uh, we're looking at stew mix, melon, mushroom, and egg. Okay, so we need a melon. So we're going to grab a couple because I think we need some for the small rations as well. Heck, we haven't been attacked all day today. That's kind of crazy. I'll just throw these mushrooms in here. And I have an egg. Let's grab an egg. Now, if we go here, stew mix, melon, mushroom, egg. Oh, I need two eggs. There, we've got one of those. And what you would do, what I would do if I'm going to take this stuff to the trader, 
which I just might do, is I'd make a bunch of these meat stews up, and then I'd just bulk put everything together. So what I, I'd put a whole bunch, a whole cabinet full of meat stews, a whole cabinet full of veggie mixes, and put it all together. But we now have a meat stew. And we'll put that in here. And now we have our final thing. So we're just running at, about ready to run out of time. And according, we haven't gotten the coffee and tea yet. We'll make that once we get the tins, which we're going to be doing shortly. But in here to get a cooked chicken. Oh, we need cooked chicken for this. So cooked chicken, melon, mushroom, and egg. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get ourselves a chicken. No, I keep hitting the wrong one. Which one's about ready to put an egg out? That's the male. All right. Got some chicken cook. Uh, here, just go ahead. Oh, did I do that? Oh, it didn't help. I meant to wash hands. At least it didn't poison me by drinking. And we'll put a chicken up here to cook. And let this all cook now. You can actually put this out. Now we have the melon, mushroom, and we need one egg. And once those get done, I'll start cooking this bacon up. That's a shame we have, we can't make our own uh, stuff anymore. They should make it now a tech obtainable. It should be a tech obtainable maybe from the trader. That way you can make them. I know they want you to get out, but it's just... Oh, this is ready. So, let's uh, put another piece of chicken on. And it's cooked chicken, melon, mushroom, egg. And there we crafted that one. I did have it here somewhere. Oh. Okay. I was going to put it in here. So one of each. And they're $3 a piece. I mean, I think it's... Believe it or not, I think it's more than what we... These are 240 and that's 160. Now what the heck? Oh, that's what it is. I'm putting them on the table. That's what I'm doing. I'm not putting it in a cupboard. There. Now I got room. Go ahead and cook up this and we got some bacon to cook up and I'll let them finish up put these in here just now
And we did pretty good. And that's... We've got... We've cooked everything we're going to get to the trader. Now, in between episodes, I might take a day. Um... Gosh, I worked... We slept all day. We worked all day and didn't go to bed at all. Slept... Worked through the night. So what I'm going to do... Now that it's daylight... I'll spend the rest of this day um I'll spend the rest of this day making up more food in between episodes and we'll have a lot of food to take to the trader to sell. I'll also be keeping up with the cement and the oil and making sure we can get, get that done. But that's all the time we have for today. So if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for future content. Don't forget to ring the bell and comment down below. You know I love your comments. They give me great feedback and they help the channel grow. And until next time, this is Raging Diesel saying, keep the shiny side up. Goodbye, everybody.